Clark and Matt say hello. Say hello. hello. Say hello. We're so happy Glad to be back, be back on so soon. the gang, the gang. We want to know if the gang's all here, right? You guys remember who is hashtag the original Junk Monkey Gang, okay? Back in, let's see, what was it? August, babe, of like last year can i say that last year it's been a long time right it seems like yes we did a 30 day flip a piece of furniture day challenge right you guys told me you learned so much and you were like sonia please do it again please do it again okay so i'm excited because you know what we're gonna spend the next 20 days right here with you guys and we're gonna get some really cool furniture decor whatever we can find flipping okay and it's gonna be flipping amazing so pop on say hello tell us where you're watching from Tell us who's here. We want to see who's here. And I'm going to get started because I got to clean this piece. So as I'm cleaning, Matt's going to do some shout outs, but I'm going to use my card cutter because you guys are going to ask me, right? Card cutter to clean. So tell me who's here. Lisa's on. Lisa! Randy Miller, Ashley Hubbard, Carrie McLean. Ashley, my girl. Christine McNeil. I remember Christine. She says, ha, I'm one of the original ones. The original. Tess, Nim uh, the original. Uh, Tess Nimchick, who was on all the it's time. It's our girl Tess. Yeah. Heck yeah. You know, we don't Patty have Price, Rochelle Brooks, um, Renee Ringgold Edwards, Brittany Nicole Arnold. Brittany. Uh, Patrice Swigert. These are all the old timers here. Yeah, Jennifer right? Trupa, Tammy uh, Stella, uh, Ke oh. Joan is it, Lorenzo. Is it all coming back? We don't Joan. Yes, I'm right? New Jersey Joan. Heck yeah. Uh, Bessie Brooks, Bobby White. Bessie. Paula says, yay, she's so excited. Yay. Uh, Ashley's checking in from Cameron, Michigan. Uh, Julianne uh, Oost is checking in from Cajun Country. Uh, oh, Karen so Miller, like Karen McClain. Who is giving a frowny face oh, already? Oh, God, already? Seriously? Are you kids, me, people? You know, there's always one. Really? There's somebody who gets up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, uh, okay. Tina, uh, Tina King says, I have missed you, Sonia and Matt. Aw, we well, missed you guys Yeah, too. exactly. So nice. uh, Karen Pogus is on. Karen! How's those kitchen cabinets holding up, girl? So, uh, Sandra Stagg checking in from Texas. Texas in the Kathy house! Corbett. Hey, Kathy, how's it been? Joanne Sutton is checking in from Canada. Dang, uh, Mary Ann Ruder from Family Newburgh, to the North. Oregon. Kim Vanneman says hello. hello. Bessie, Bessie says she's missed us. Aw. Christine Shea says hi, uh, uh, she he says hi from snowy Chicago. She says hi. Huh? Hi. She says hi. Huh? Don't, says, don't ha, start ha. with me. <laughs> don't start <Hi>. with me. <laughs> Kathy Snyder, what's going on, Kathy? Uh, Catherine, uh, 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 sorry. What are you I, doing? I gotta get my feet back underneath me. You know, Come it's on. like you know. Come on. Uh, Jeanette Patton is checking from Amherst, Ohio. Lane Couch says happy. Friday, everyone from Georgia. Happy Friday, uh, right? Nancy Medell says, Hello, Matt and right. from warm Southern California. We're spending Friday night together, man. Oh, Karen Hughes. Is it Friday night? Yeah, really? it's Friday night. This is what Tracy we do on Friday Ramirez night. Tracy Ramirez is in from Bowie, Maryland. Um, Marianne uh, Calhoun. Hey, long oh, time to see you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So, yep, she's one of my girls. Uh, uh, Shelly uh, Goodwin says, hi, Sonia Matt. So excited. Debbie Yay. says, hi from Maryland. Leanne's checking from Bethel Springs, Tennessee. Candy Clark says, Tennessee. she is so excited from Iowa. Valerie's checking Yay. in from Tampa. How do you say that? Avelanita. Avelanita. Ooh, that's Valerie Silas Avelanita. That's like a movie star name. Yeah, that is. Yeah. That's a good name. Yeah. Uh, Dorothy uh, Hamley is checking in from Waterville, Minnesota. Uh, Rebecca Prito is checking in from Cali. Uh, Lee is checking in from Saskatchewan. Ooh. So, um, Jennifer is checking in from Austin, Texas. Uh, <laughs> Julianne says, you said my name right. Well, I, I actually served with a lot of French people when I was in the Marine Corps and did a little liaison with the French Foreign Legion, so I had to learn. So you had to Quickly. Learn. Yeah, Nady Garcia. Credit cutter. Okay. Credit cutter. Right. Right. Anybody need to see this before I put away and do a screenshot? Crack cutter is what I clean my furniture with, okay? So you're seeing me prep it here as we're getting ready to rock and roll. This stuff is awesome. Um, it doesn't leave a film. You just basically spray it, you clean, and you let it dry, and then you're ready to go and paint. You never, ever, 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 ever want to clean your furniture with something like maybe a Dawn dish detergent or anything like that. You never want to clean it at the very beginning because that soap can leave a film that can reject the paint, right? And cause you all kinds of problems. So crud cutter is awesome. Okay. It is the painter's friend. I think it even calls itself that. So make sure you get some. Okay. So if I didn't give everybody a shout out, I am so sorry. Cause you're a big meanie. I know. I just got to get my feet down uh, underneath me. What's that? 
You, you need to get, get your feet. auctioneer yeah, tone going, right? Yeah, I get my stuff going. Me, I just talk a lot. I'm, well, I'm I mean, getting lots of practice, I discovered right? a, I, I I discovered a life uh, secret a little bit earlier. What's that? And I'm actually feeling bad about it now. What? Is I burnt my tongue yeah. last night. Yeah. And I burned it again this morning at lunch. Okay. I'll stop burning your tongue. Yeah. And I just <laughs> ate a, I just ate a grapefruit. And, a grapefruit? Uh, a grapefruit. <laughs> well, there you go. And my tongue feels... Weird? It hurts and it feels swelly because... Oh, dear. That doesn't yes. sound good. No, yeah, it's like a, really good. It's like when you eat a lot of pineapple yeah. and you get that and a burn feeling. Yes. So, yeah, feeling good. swell? That's a, that's a great. No. Feeling swelly? <laughs> not so good, right, and my pain. books. It feels like... <laughs> Okay, I got the handles taken off. I'm going like to put them to the elves side. Wearing golf shoes or dancing on my tongue. Wonderful. I'm going to put these over here. By the way, real quick, take a look at this, guys. This was a piece I finished today. I don't know if you guys know or not since the last time we chatted, but behind the scenes, I now have a furniture paint class to teach people how to take it from hobby to business. Four tutorials a month every Friday. So this was the tutorial we did today. Who loves these flowers? Maybe we'll have to do something tonight and I'll, I'll teach you how to do some really cool flowers, okay? But this is the piece we have. This is an old magazine rack. It is just, it's just wooden. I mean, what, how would you describe this, Matt? Seriously, you're probably the best it's person. It's old, that... it's wood. Yeah, that's it, right? It holds magazines. It holds magazines. Everybody had one when they were a kid. Yes, but we're gonna make it super special Say hi to your okay? grandmother. Your grandmother Nana's on here. I was saying earlier, Nan, I love you. Nana's my biggest fan, okay? She's from back home. Say hello to Nan <laughs> in Lassie, Newfoundland, who I love dearly. She comes on and supports me. <clears throat> God love my grandmother. You know what? She's amazing on technology. Was even able to message me to say, what time you on tonight, Sonia? So thank you for being here, Nan. I appreciate you. I love you. Okay, <clears throat> so we got our piece ready to go, okay? So the cool thing about the furniture challenge that we're doing is we're trying... The challenge to complete every single color we have, which we just announced yesterday, if you've been living under a rock, that's okay. We're going to tell you what's going down, okay? We've been so busy behind the scenes, we've come up with our own line of Junk Monkey Milk Paint, okay? We call it the Milkshake. <clears throat> Excuse me. So do you see the little monkey on it right here? You guys know, if you show pickles on the wall, that way they'll know what I'm talking about. Pickles is the ever love. He's the junk monkey that you message through Facebook, right? He takes care of you. He is the ever loved, what I would call like monkey with the muscles, okay? He's like powerful stuff. He sticks to pretty much everything under the sun. Petunia, who I'm going to introduce you to, is a cute little monkey. She's had, do you see that little rosette in her hair? Do you see the little pink tutu? Because she's a little more fragile and she's just cute and sweet. And you know what? She's also all natural. You got that? So I'm going to show you today the difference between milk paint and a chalky style paint. And I know that you guys follow me on here and you probably follow me because you're a little like me, right? You love the shabby distressed, you love the old, the rustic, the primitive, whatever you want to call it. But basically, whatever you would call furniture that looks like it's seen lots of use, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mirror this finish on here with milk paint. The cool thing about milk paint, my friends, is not only is ours completely all natural, VOC free, that means no chemicals whatsoever, that means baby safe, that means doggy safe, that means kitchen safe, which is super, super awesome. Junk but, husband safe. And husband safe, absolutely. Yes. But the other cool thing is that milk paint is the only paint that actually chips for you, okay? So if you love that chippy, distressed style, remember when you use a chalky paint, yes, you can distress it. You can, you know, tear it back with sand pads. But you know what? This is the only paint that actually chips. So if you love that, like, falling off your piece, this is an amazing paint to use, okay? I'll Hopefully. show you how it works tonight. Go ahead. Hopefully it cooperates. Well, yeah, we never know because this is the thing. It's considered the unpredictable paint, okay? Which I'm totally cool with unpredictable because, well, I live life spontaneously. Anyhow, but if I see crackling, if I see chipping, if I see parts of it that want to fall off, then sign me up, okay? So that's what we're going to go for tonight on this piece. See what happens. Over the next 20 days, we'll try it on different surfaces so we can really get to see what it looks like. Ultimately, the more shiny your piece, the more the milk paint's going to fall off, but the more, uh, if you have more wood pores, then it's going to suck in and do a really nice job of holding, and then we can do some other distressing to it, okay? So we're going to see what happens on this piece. Day one of 20 of our 20 colors of milkshake, milk paint in the Junk Monkey line, okay? Actually, the milk paint will be available for Canada for purchase in yes. a few days. We're going to actually do a separate website that we're working on behind the scenes. It's going to be uh, like junkmonkeypaint.ca instead of the .com. Everybody back home knows the .cas and everybody down here is like, what? What the heck is a .ca? I moved here from Canada and I still have my, uh, my email addresses that I set up when I lived back home. And when I give the, my personal email address and the person on the other end goes, did you say .ca? I'm like, yeah. .ca, okay? So we are those people. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna I got you covered. 
So the color I'm going to use tonight, guys, is a color called Sea Glass. Do you want to show them real fast the color over there, what it's going to be like? Because it's hard to see believe. See if I can find it. Yeah. Yeah, let's see uh, if you can find it, okay? Sea Glass. You got it? I got it. You got it? Yes. Is that good? All right. It. Last night I was like, what color should I use? And you guys know I love blues, I love love greens. Teal is a form of blue, so I love anything in that vein. So you guys saw what the package looks like, yes, right? Yes, yes. This is my drip drabs right here in mine. So I just want you to know I'm using the same thing, except it doesn't have a really fancy pretty label on it. So what I'm gonna do is take out basically um, whatever I do in milk paint powder is going to be what I do in water. You just do equal amounts, okay? Nothing has to be OCD about it. So I'm going to put one. I don't know how much I'm going to have to use for this piece just yet. So let's just experiment. Two. We can always mix up more if we need to. Three. That was like a heaping. That was like a heaping teaspoon, right? I've got a chef watching me. He's going to be like, that's not a teaspoon. All right. So you see what I did? I did like four there, right? So then what I do, you see it comes in a uh, powder form. That's what true milk paint does. It doesn't come pre-mixed. True milk paint comes in powder form. Believe it or not, in here, there are things. When I say all natural, I'm talking about milk solids, I'm talking about clay, and I'm talking about earth pigments, okay? That's what makes it completely natural. And what's really cool is it gets to activate with water. You put pigs in it? What? Pigs? I love pigs. What? Pigs? No, monkeys, babe. Monkeys. Oh. Not, not spunkies, monkeys, no. monkeys. Pigments. Pigments, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just monkeys. Just monkey magic. Okay, so let's do the same. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just round the belts. One, you did heaping, so two, I know. I'm just not OCD anymore. Okay, boom. If I need more. So here's the cool thing. Now it is in just this little tiny mason jar, right? Do you see how the colors are already starting? So what happens is you stir it. It all comes to, starts to come to life. So the cool thing about this is, believe it or not, guys, Believe it or not, your paint actually lasts indefinitely. So as long as you keep it in a packet like this, which the packets we give you, of course, has the seal on it, just like that, right? They're That's airproof, okay. they're moisture proof. Yes. yes. So and you can fold it over just like you would if you, you know, I was gonna say if you would a bag of chips, but there's not a bag of chips that actually survives when I start to eat them. So but yeah, fold them over like you would a bag of chips to keep it. Or you can put your if you really want, you can put it in a mason jar, but it's fine to keep in the package just as long as it doesn't, you know, freeze or get too hot. And you only make mix up what you need at a time so honestly the entire packet goes as far as one of our junk monkey pints that's what one of those packets make is a pint so in your mind right now if you know that one of our uh, cans of junk monkey original recipe paint goes uh, to complete one entire piece of furniture right then that's what you want to think about with this as well except you have the control over it to be able to mix up as much as you want all right so do you see that color do you see that color like absolutely gorgeous so what we're supposed to do is let this sit honestly for about maybe 10 minutes and it what happens up. is what's that yeah it thickens exactly the pigments just begin to disperse and it gets a little bit thicker and thicker so you can actually control as well how thick you want it to be you can add water to, if you want more of a wash you can even use milk paint over uh, like maybe like some raw wood Wood, uh, very very thin if you want it to be like a stain paint generally covers um, generally covers uh, what do you call it? wood grains but when you use a stain then I'm sorry when you use a milk paint you can use it as a stain and it actually still um, shows you the actual grains of the wood okay depending on how light you make it all right so do you see how nice that is oh my gosh guys so awesome all right and we're gonna get started over here on this piece over here okay so let me grab my shabby chip brush no, nothing has changed only the way I made it up, right? And so it also works really nice if, and you can also use one of these as well, which is our whisk, Mr. Chef. This is a whisk, right? Yes. All right, just making sure. Or a wire whip. Are you talking about getting out the whip? No. All right, just making sure here. All right, just making sure. Ha ha. All right, so you can whisk it up, you can stir it up, do whatever you gotta do, all right, to get it going. And then can you use begin it on to lift. paint? Piece it's already painted. Yes, you can, absolutely. So over the next 20 days, I'm gonna do it actually on a piece that's already painted so you guys get to see what it looks like and how it all comes together, all right? So let's pretend dun, 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 10 minutes has been up, all right? We're gonna kinda like, we're gonna, we're gonna move it along right now, but um, let's go ahead and begin the paint process, all right? So let's stick our yeah, brush where, in. Where are you starting at? I'm gonna start right here, I think, on the end. Okay. Right here on this big white piece that's like calling my name. All right, oh guys, you see that? You see how nice it is? It goes on really nice and creamy. You control the texture of it. Um, it's just so nice to be able to work well, with. Well, Martha, to be honest with you, Bob, Bob ain't doing too good. No, do you want to show them, Bob? I don't you know can show them, Bob. I don't know. Where I don't is know. Bob? 
Uh, Bob was at the end of the table. Sonny can't grow anything. I can't, guys. I can't even grow a chia pet. It's all a right? good thing she didn't grow up on the farm. What's that? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, right? We wouldn't have the farm. Oh, my Lord. So I grew up on the island in Newfoundland in Canada. And so, thank goodness, um, you know, I was pretty good at catching fish, though. I was good at that. Just couldn't grow anything. So, and by the way, when you're using chip brushes, one thing I didn't get, do tonight, which I should have, is just kind of do a tug when you first begin, because that will help. If there's any bristles that this silver piece didn't clamp down good on, it comes out before you start your project, right? No big deal, but comes out. But there we go. All right, let's keep going. It's Bob molded. Yes. And we're not talking about, like, moles, as in, like, Bob got some moles on his head. We're talking about Bob's got mold on his head. All right. Anybody else have the same problem? Because I swear, I'm not... Not, I never ever said that I was a gardener. You guys know you'll vouch for me, right? But yeah, show them what. Show them seriously. It's over there on yeah. the table. I mean, it is over there. It's not even Bob. It oh, is over poor there. Poor Bob. Oh, he would be so mad with me. Yes, as you can see, he got moldy. The only thing it grew was his back hair. <laughs> even that was sparsely populated. But you know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So when you guys paint uh, pieces of furniture, I always tell you to follow the shape of the piece that you're working on, literally, like how your actual piece of furniture is built, okay? So these are round, so I'm going to paint round ways. Um, it just makes your piece look so much more polished and professional. So now I'm going to go down ways. I'm not going to paint Harry up and down, right? Bob was too high maintenance. Well, if you Bob guys high maintenance, man. If you guys would have gave him some sunlight and water him. <laughs> Carrie is on here. Carrie is our awesome side lady comes in in the evenings who god love her she takes care of us takes care of you with shipping guys and so she knows what went on with the whole bot but she knows how hard i work to keep him going i mean you know carrie right she vouched for me here i i tried everything i put baggies over his head i had like weird stuff going down i mean it was weird it was it was weird but i, I was willing to work with it but it just uh just never it never came to be it never came to be just paint Bob said green. Yeah, there you, <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know what? That's so true. Yeah, can I tell you? A not so happy little tree. Yeah, right. No, no, not at all. There, yeah, there, yeah. It was a very sad one. But uh, yeah, you could do that. You could totally fix That's it through funny. the power. Plate, yes, this right? is a magazine rack. You guys, uh, I'm surprised there's some people in here that really don't know what these are used for. Really? Is, yeah. Yeah, when I was growing up, man, everybody had a. Uh, you know, I got to tell you, I was, I was just, it's funny you said that because I was thinking about this uh, yesterday um, when I was looking at this rack and I was thinking, who is the person that came up and decided that I'm going to invent a magazine rack? Well, I, was, I mean, think about it. Actually, these were like back in the day, these yeah. were used for like knitting baskets and holders and stuff like that. And right. Just slightly modified in the mid, uh, you know, mid 20th century, well, early 20th century to hold magazines and periodicals. Right. So there you go. Yeah, but somebody came out with it and went, I'm going to make money off a magazine rack. And once everybody bought them. Once it's mixed, how long does it last? Um, you can put it in the refrigerator for like a day or two. But remember, it's all natural. So you want to mix up what you need at that time. And then if you need more, like if I need some more on here, because I'm experimenting as I go ahead and complete this piece here. And you saw me use what, maybe it's like four teaspoons in a little bit. Um, so again. four teaspoons in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do the family guy here. Say spoon again. Spoon. Say teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, now she's not doing it. Doing what? Nothing. What? Tell me. Cause you I say spoon it. sometimes. What would you say? Cause I say spoon sometimes. Is no, that, that why? That was normal. Oh gosh. Okay. She well, says spoon. Spoon? Yeah. Spoon. Yeah. Listen, I'm from Newfoundland. Okay, which brings me to one of the things I want to tell you is to some of you guys. Some of the paint colors names that we picked might might be ooh get in my eye might seem like what the heck kind of name is this? But you guys know that I am from Newfoundland, Canada. It is an island of its own, Canada's youngest province, and um, we we kind of have our own little culture going on. Okay, if you come anybody on here been to Newfoundland before? I'm curious, or even from Canada? Yeah, Newfoundlanders, you can't you can't chime in on this one. What's that? They can chime in on this one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm curious to see who's on here. But sea glass, right? You guys know what sea glass is. Anybody know? I mean, you guys know what sea glass is, right? Mm -hmm. And how it's formed? It's glass. It's been in the ocean. It has. It has. Okay. So sea glass is, when I look at this color, it reminds me 
I have some of the, the bluish green pieces of glass that I would find on the beach growing up. And because I live on an island surrounded by water bear, uh, water bear, water uh, pans and you know com completely covered in the winter with, like with ice pans. Yes, polar bears do come across from the Arctic. Um, but it's completely an island in the North Atlantic and so there's a lot of stuff that comes on the beaches, right? Including giant squid. Now I don't have a paint named after giant squid, but let me just tell you that happens too. But um, I think they hold the record in Newfoundland for the world's hang largest. Hang on, hang on. I got, I got to do this. What? There's always one. But. Tina Kent pains me when I see people paint wood. Well, oh, they yeah. get out of a painting live. Yeah, yeah. Go right. away. <laughs> don't want to deal with you. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing about Junk Monkey Paint Company that screams. We might be doing some. Yeah, we might be painting wood. Uh, forewarning. Okay, yes. just look away now, my friends. Look away now because we've got 19 <laughs> more projects, and um, yeah, it, it just might make it. I don't know. It, I, I just don't know what you'll do with yourself when you see all the goodness I have to paint. Okay. Yeah. But anyway. All right, so. we got some technical questions here. I want yeah, to cover let's do real it. quick. Let's do it. So, anyways, let's see. I think what, I'm gonna put a little bit the more. The new on. paint. Uh, what does new paint cost? New paint costs. Yeah. Uh, Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars makes a pint. Yes. Um, and it's made with completely all natural it's raw all natural. ingredients. What it's all natural. It's yeah. Mine? It's uh, safe. All oh, safe. Uh -huh. Okay. I see glass. No VOC yeah. to hold on yards, right? Okay. Um, the other one, does it dry as quickly as junk monkey? The regular yeah, junk monkey. Yeah, it dries really fast. This is already starting to dry up and set up right here. All right, let's do this right here real fast. What are you so doing? I'm going to add a little bit more just to kind okay. of do this side. So All I'm right, add ceiling. Like more. The question about ceiling. So for anybody who missed in the beginning, yeah, we're going to talk ceiling here in just a second too. But first, we're going to talk painting. Did you just One, put a wet spoon in there? Two. I know this is my you, batch. Okay. You did. I know. You did. I listen. I am not a cooker upper. Okay. Don't do what I do. Just uh, do what I say. All right. Don't look away. Look away. Uh, my did friend. you sand first? No, we did not sand. No, you don't have the sand. No. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this to see. With milk paint, some people do like to sand. Uh, if you want a little more yeah. grippy, grippy. If you don't want it. I don't chip. go for grippy, grippy. I'm looking for chippy, chippy when I do my milk paint. Like yes, that. yes. I'm going to yes. have to get a shirt that says that. You know, no to grippy, grippy, yes to chippy, chippy, right? Oh, so gosh. I promise there are things that you can do with milk paint to create different effects. And we also have a product called Extra Bond that you can actually add right now to this that would make it act just like it would if it was a chalky style paint. Yeah, if it was junk punk. If I really wanted area. it to be that way, okay? Yeah, the extra bond is also, you want to grab a jug of that? Yeah. The extra bond is also, uh, everything that we did for this paint line is organic or all natural and baby safe because we were getting, if you remember, we were getting so many questions from uh, moms and yeah. grandmas who wanted to paint stuff. This is the extra bond. You just add it. It's all safe, all natural. Yep. Um, is it like chalk paint? No. no. It's uh, milk paint. <clears throat> it's milk paint. It's made with all natural ingredients. Literally, it's made with milk solids. Okay, that's why it's called you milk paint. You sell smocks. You just do. like they did. That's a smock, right? Yeah, that's a I, smock. I remember we used to have smocks in grade school. Yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. Actually, right? yeah, we do. They're 26 a piece. The bibs, right? Yep. Yeah. We sure yeah. do. You guys saw we have a new website. Uh, hopefully, I, I you Can saw you that. Can you mix it with the chalk paint? Uh, why would you want to? Give me I a scenario. To, uh, I guess no, I wouldn't do color. that. I, I, no, I wouldn't do that. Just because they're made up of different uh, components, I would keep them separate. But remember, if you ever need to make a uh, the Junk Monkey original recipe, if you want to make your own color, those are made to blend together. So you can add two to get whatever color that you're actually looking for, right? So, you know, if you want a certain shade of red, just... Put some white and some red together until you get at the consistency of the color that you want. Here's the thing when it comes to pink colors, I, you know, you guys probably know this already. Who's been to like, you know, a big store before, like a hardware store, and you stand there overwhelmed because there are seas of colors. So in every color family, there's so many. We couldn't even possibly have them all in our shelves, right? Yeah, unless so you want to kill 40. me. Yes, unless which you want to kill Matt. Which she's been trying to do. <laughs> So we have um, we have 40 colors, and you can obviously you know use those to combine to make whatever other shades that you need. You've got the blacks and the browns and the whites and the beiges and the reds and the blues and the yellows. Think about all the primary colors that make up the rest of the colors on the color wheel, right? How does it do for outdoor use? Well, you'd have to seal it with a um, yep. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. But I will tell you that, um, yeah, it just depends on the sealer that you use. So you can use whatever you want. What's the difference in surface from milk paint to chalk paint? It actually Same fills 
drier, I find. Oh, the actual feeling of the yeah, surface? Yeah. Can I tell you something? One of the really cool things about milk paint is that it buffs to a very, very velvet smooth feel. So if velvety. you, it is. Yeah, it's not so like, you know, we talk about the chunky monkey. It's just not so like, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? Just just chunkiness like you would with our chalky paint, right? Yeah. So it's a different sort of I, feel. I wouldn't mix any bonding with the actual chalk paint because the actual chalk paint, if it doesn't stick to whatever you're painting. The chalk paint? Yeah, you have, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be painting it, that's all I can say. Yeah, usually <laughs> people use milk paint for, like, they want the really pretty eye candy pieces, okay, for the inside. Well, we managed to get paint all over this new bottle. Because I'm just that good. One. Well, you shouldn't have told me to take it out. I See, that's what happens. Right. I can't control myself before. I gotta tell you, who out there has ever painted a chair before? This might be, like, the equivalent to that. Because painting chairs that have spindles make you want to lose your mind, make you want to lose your marbles, all right? So, yeah. Patty Price is making, mixing the milk paint, too. Busy guy. You have no idea. Patty, let's just say I keep him busy, all right? She had to put up a suicide fence on the, let, let, uh, on the, seat, on the roof, so. Let, let's jump. just to say, you know what I mean? We were talking about today getting old, and I'm like, you just stick with me. We'll just, you know, you'll just stay so busy, you know? No, we saw a meme about I a guy be, that didn't realize no, how old he was. I ain't going to make it. <laughs> You're gonna make it. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is designed for cribs and baby stuff, yeah. and yep. you know. So like the sea glass we were talking about. Do you guys love this color? It's all it's setting up right now. Love it, love it, love it. But sea glass is, of course, you things that go into the ocean that over time just erosion happens. And so you start off with literally a broken piece of glass, whether you know it's garbage that found its way into the ocean, whether it's from a shipwreck. Um, you know, anything that goes into the ocean that's made of glass, and then of course, you know, the, you know, the rocks, the waves, everything else sitting on the seashore with the motion of the waves, and before you know it, it becomes eroded to the point where it's a beautiful, just buffed, polished piece of glass, and typically it's blue-greens, um, you know, I see a lot of browns and a lot of whites, and also my favorite is to when I find the broken plate pieces, which is really cool, and you can find patterns that have totally have eroded around the edges. And so um, in Newfoundland, because it's an island, we see a lot of that. And so sea glass was always amazing to me when we would go out into the coves and, you know, go out to the beach and be able to find that stuff. Um, you can make things out of it. Anybody ever tried making jewelry out of it? There's a lot of people that, you know, will wrap it in wire and do that sort of thing with it. But I decided to call it this color because it reminded me of a lot of the sea glass, right? Bobby uh, says clear coat over it. We'll be getting to the clip. Yep. Uh, you can seal it with whatever you'd like, but we actually I'm gonna show you have a, brand a product new sealer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. that we did to keep along the all-natural line. So exactly. This go. line that we announced is completely Can you use no pin on metal? Yeah, I guess you could if you really wanted to. But remember, the more shinier, the more chippiness you're going to get. Yeah, the harder um, it's going to Yeah, so stick. if you want something to stick on metal, kind of depends on the look. If you're looking for... Yeah. You know, if you want a more of a fall away chippy look, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, but if you or want use coverage, the extra bond. Yeah, and use the extra bond. But if you want the, um, you know, the really, really good grippy stuff, then you'd want to stick um, with our yeah, Karen original. Karen Simmel says she uh, wire wraps sea glass. Oh, yeah? What do you make yeah. out of it? Jewelry. Jewelry? <laughs> well, a lot of people can, you can make all kinds of stuff out of it. Uh, you laughing at me. Yeah. You laughing at me? No sea glass and Trogger Light. <laughs> I wonder, is there, I would imagine there would be sea glass even in the Great Lakes, right? For anybody who lives yeah, down there. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the Great yeah, Lakes I, I'd are like. Yeah, I'd say Trogger Light's a little bit small. The you might sit and find some Bud Light bottles in there. Wait, what type of projects are better with milk paint instead of wood. chalk stone? Wood. Yep, it's definitely woods. wood. Yeah. So you can use it as a stain. You can use it for chip away falliness. Um, you know what I mean? That sort of look. So you'd want to use it because if you love distressed, chippy paint um, is an amazing thing, okay? Can it be stained? I think she's talking about glaze. Yeah, you can glaze it. Yeah. We'll do a project with that over the next um, over the next two weeks as well. What's I'm just the gonna... best paint to use on metal? Uh, our chalk style, our Junk Monkey original. Yeah, if you want it to have a Yeah, we have a uh, wrought iron uh, light post that we painted when we first moved in here a year ago. And it it still looks the same as the day we painted it. Yeah, right. It's a little bit darker I take you out there. So. I'm just putting whatever's left on in here. I'm going to back over it to kind of like add some, you know, parts where I want to have a There's little some bit more. Drips. I'll work my way around. Right here. on the... Uh, you show me. Oh, okay, right there. Yep. I think it's time okay, that we should have a giveaway. Chip? We're what gonna do, you think? do a chip. 
Well, the thing is, oh, you never know it. what the paint will do, okay? Now, we have a product that we will show you what it can do, but tonight's project, I'm just putting the straight milk paint on on an actual just old magazine rack. But do you want to show them the Chippy Hippie Juice? The Chippy Hippie Juice! The Chippy Hippie Juice. Yes. So, if I want to make sure that my piece is gonna look like crackled and we've got layers of paint coming through, uh, we're gonna show you how to use Chippy Hippie Juice to be able to do that. So basically, you get to manipulate the paint, right? Right now, this paint's gonna do whatever the heck it wants to do. Um, but with that chippy hippie juice, if I really want to go for a chippy look, then I'm going to go ahead and use my chippy hippie juice, all right? So I'm just going to let this dry. I've got my heat gun to speed up the process. So who would like a free a Jump Monkey Mystery gift? Me. Me. You don't count. Okay, I knew you were going to say that. If you want a free Jump Monkey Mystery gift... Yes. Just uh, share this and put share in the comments. Yeah. And we'll pick somebody. Yeah, heck yeah. So All right. Let me you got, you okay. got uh, what? You got three minutes Four. To, to get in the contest. Oh, you're going to limit it to three minutes? Yeah. Is that how you're feeling tonight? I am. All right. So be All quick right. or be dead. All right. <laughs> Well, you better take note of who shares, because in three minutes, yeah, that's what I'm looking. you're going to have to give away the, uh, yeah. find somebody. So go ahead and share, like the mystery. and yes. then just write share in the comments. Matt is a man of mystery, right? So, uh, uh, yeah. We'll see what he puts in the box tonight. I'll let tonight's gift come from him. So, Do we'll I ever somebody. get on camera? Not voluntarily. <laughs> oh, you're funny. All right, so I am using a heat gun. It's not a hair dryer, it's a heat gun. And you always wanna move quickly if you ever have a heat gun because believe it or not, it heats up to 1200 degrees, if not higher. This one's 1200 degrees. Think about your oven, how high you cook with and how high 1200 is, okay? So if you ever get one, don't ever touch it with your fingers. Um, you know, just, just hover and move and do a dance with your um, with your heat gun so that way it doesn't burn your paint or do any weirdness to your paint, right? Sound good? All right, so tight share, and Matt will pick somebody. All right, he's giving you three minutes, which are probably down to about, what, two minutes and maybe 15 seconds at this point? Yeah. So, and we'll pick somebody that will get- Did we get a new heat gun? No, actually it's uh, yeah, say one. one from our stable of heat guns. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, thanks, Charlotte. Can you use Chuck to your senses on? Absolutely. Yeah, you sure can. Yep. Oh, thanks, Vicky. Long time no see. Yeah, I want to say hello to everybody who was saying hi. We're glad to see us back. We're glad that you came back to join us. It's very humbling to have you guys uh, be a part of our. Uh, of our big family, Jeff extended family, family here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's amazing to see all the pictures that you guys send in and all just the uh, notes that you guys send us and tell us that, you know, you were inspired or just made you want to do something for your home or maybe you didn't even realize there was an option out there, you know, to make be able to flip and do some really cool effects. So we are going to do, this is round two of the Painted Piece of Furniture Day Challenge using milk paint to kick off tonight. For the next 19 days, you want to be here with us. And for all those who message me, i got to tell you right now, here's the deal. If you want to say, I want to get on too, I want to be part of the fun, make sure that you subscribe. So all you have to do to get our notifications when we go live is, do you see our clickable name, Jug Monkey Paint Company? All you have to do is click on that to go to our Facebook page. So basically just get to our Facebook page or just you're clicking on a post right now. Click in the Jug Monkey Paint Company in the banner. It's gonna go there. There is a blue button at the top that says message. All you have to do is hit the message button, hashtag live, and you're good. You know, there's somebody okay. that's conspicuously missing even though we talked to her the other day. Who's that? Linda, uh, Linda, Linda. Oh, a girl from California. Yes, yeah, Taylor, we are located in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Yep, all right. I feel like that's pretty well dry. We're about 40 miles right here. southeast of Pittsburgh. Yep. And we are guarded by a uh, fort. Forget what's the Ligonier thing say again? The only uh, place that's uh, the ice cream. Uh, we have a an amazing ice cream store. An amazing ice cream store. 
just up the road and their shirt says... That's open year-round, okay? Yes. That's how good it is, is it's able to be open all year-round. Uh, what do they say? Ice cream so good. They're located on the diamond, so their shirt says ice cream so good, it's served on the diamond and protected by a fork. Oh, that's right. I'm glad you remember that. So, Heck yeah. That says, my husband just noticed I painted his mother's furniture with your paint. <laughs> ah! He just noticed? Mm. It's funny. It's funny how long sometimes it takes men, right? We women, we like that stuff, right? And uh, we, we just like to just, just putting a bit of paint on something just makes us feel good. Heck, I change around my living room and it makes me feel good, okay? Change is good. But men, I'm telling you, what would they do without us women to make, you know, make their home so beautiful? And I uh, have a name. You have a name? Yes. All right. The name is? The name is? For the mystery gift. Okay. Tammy Swan Tanksley. Tammy Swan Tanksley. Yes. All right, girl, we're going to need you to be here. Say, holla, I am here, okay? We yes. want to know that you're here. Yes. And then once we see you're here, we'll tell you what you need to do next, okay? Yeah. If anybody sees her, make sure you tell us. Yes. So we will have a giveaway every night. You're going to want to be here. Be here and be square, okay? Yeah. Be here or be square. Yeah. All right, so, so let's go ahead and do some Tammy, check this. in, please, so we can get you your mystery gift. Yes. So, and cool. All right. So pretty darn cool, right? I love, love, love yeah. this piece. Well, so, look, how, look how matte finish that is. Yeah, it's like old Super matte. Matte, yeah. matte as in M-A-T-T-E, right? Yeah. Let me see this one. Right it might be a little bit wet. That's okay. No worries. Okay. We're going to do some sanding. Sand sand I'm going to do some sanding, okay? Because I am a girl who just needs some distress, right? Yeah. Not to be in distress, but I love some distress. So yeah. the cool thing is about milk paint, do you feel that? Like, I mean, I wish there was not smell-o-vision, but feel-o-vision, where when you when you buff something it with the milk paint, it just comes, like, super silky smooth, which is awesome, all right? Well, Mindy, you have, you have 19 more days to try. <laughs> All right. uh, welcome over Desiree. Here. Welcome to the Junk Monkey family. We'll just stretch this side over here and start working on here. I have to. I have to laugh. Alexi uh, is on from Lake Elsinore. Yeah. She was over at our. She was on for thirty days. So every time I think of Lake Elsinore, California, I think of the movie Strange Brew <laughs> because it was Elsinore beer. Yes. 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 Kimberly wants to know what milk paint is. Literally, what's the name of? Let's see. You can fill her in. What's milk paint, guys? How would you describe what I just told you? It's paint. It's, it's made from milk. Yeah. All natural, just like they did back in colonial days. Oh, you're getting all medieval. What's that? With the... You're getting all medieval on that. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's anything here that's going to fall off for us. Because you never know. pretty good. Yeah. I think you needed to... It is, some. right? So when people say, does it stick on? Heck yeah, it sticks on. But what happens is you get to manipulate. So you begin to learn. So this piece was in the basement. And you can even see down here, like in terms of... You know, it was just dried. It had moisture got has gotten to it, so it was pretty thirsty as was. I think you but, needed to use some hippie juice. Yeah, right. Well, we could, should we show them some chippy hippie? I don't know. Is it too late? No, heck no. It's never too late. It's never too late. Okay, so this is a good example when I say that milk paint is unpredictable, and you begin to learn over time as you do, like how it's gonna kind of react. But I'll show you how we can control it more if you want it to chip more. If you just want an all-natural paint, use it just to paint your furniture just as is. It's awesome. It's just made with milk solids, right? And clay and earth pigments. Ooh, look at the bottom of that. I gotta do that part. Um, <laughs> let's put that down, okay? We'll pretend we never saw that, all right? Anyways, our website is jumpmonkeypaint.com. So yeah, I'm actually love the whole... What's that? Jumpmonkeypaint.com? Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. that is the... Uh, if anybody um, would know That's the you. movie, yeah. Take off of it. So, All right, there's a town I never heard of in Ohio. What's that? Lithopolis. Lithopolis? Lithopolis. Never heard of that. Lithopolis. It's like Ohio Pile. Huh. We have Ohio Pile here in uh, where we're at Ooh, so in our county. Great. It's a big rafting area. Yep. So, super mech. Well, that's why you never see me because I gotta keep my identity a secret. Funny. <laughs> Uh, God, I'm depressing. I'm laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> no, I'm laughing at you. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, pretty yeah. cool. They have an awesome library there in Metropolis. Wow. Everybody seems to know where it is except for me. Really? You need to get on Google, man. Yeah, no, Google no, holds no. the answers to everything. 
Other than being all natural, what is a pro to using milk paint versus your chalk paint? Just for you never know how it's going to behave. So obviously, if you're somebody that wants all natural, that's one reason to get it. And also, like I say, it ch it's the only paint that will actually chip and do some really cool stuff, right? So the more shinier your piece, the more chippiness you're going to get, okay? Because what happens is the all natural milk paint is not able to get such a good anchor like it would if you were using a Junk Monkey original, okay? So we got a mag magazine rack tonight that we put it on. I fished it out from the basement. It obviously needed some love. It sucked up really, really good. But I'm gonna show you, if you want it, so I put this piece, the paint on here just to be like, hey, let's just work over the next 20 days, all different types of furniture, and we'll see what it does. So you guys can really get to see it, right? So it sucked into it really, really good tonight, so you know it holds really, really well when it wants to. So if you just want an all-natural paint, boom, there you go, okay? You got a great gripping, all natural Chris. paint, right? But if you want it to be chippy, and you know when you start, okay? So if I were to say right now, I want this to be old, even older than it looks, even more older than the flat mat looks that it looks right now, I would use what is called our chippy hippie juice, okay? Gives me control over okay. it. So I'll Real show you quick. how that works. Um, question about yeah. sandpaper grit. Yes. What, what? Medium. Yes. We use yep. a medium They're grit. They're actually in our store if anybody okay. wants one. Okay, Paula, Paula J. Yoder is checking in for Philadelphia. Um, we have to thank you for helping slay the evil empire. <laughs> actually, Paula, we, uh, a friend of ours actually yeah. is engaged to uh, your long snapper, I'm Mr. Sure, Lovato. I'm sure pretty soon to be, if not already. Yeah, yeah, soon to be, definitely now. I think they got engaged on the Super Bowl after they won. So, yeah, your long snapper is... Uh, you guys need to take care of our friend uh, Jordan out there. So, anyways, just to let you know. All right, hang tight. You keep talking. I'm Which paint for something. kitchen cabinets? I want to show them something. Junk monkey paint. Out really, really nice. Do you sell those adorable aprons? Yes. Yes. Twenty six dollars. Okay. So, so give me one anyways. Yeah. Give you, give you. Yeah. So did did our girl message? Did she come through? No, I did not see her. What? Did anybody? See, what was her name again? Uh, we were keeping track of her name. What was it? Tammy Tanksley, I believe it was. Right? Yeah. Anybody see Tammy? Tell us if you see Tammy. Yeah, I didn't see her, so I'm going to pick another one here in a little bit. Okay. All right, so, let's, do some, let's do some of this, all right? Let's do some of this. Okay. So, just for fun, so since you guys want to see some fun effects, and we want to be able to control it more with what it does, this is an example of how you can control it to make sure it does what you want to do, okay? So, this is our Chippy Hippie Juice, and it's a brand new product that just got put on our website yesterday. What you do is... Somebody put, she's probably painting. She's probably what? So they said no, so I'm going to pick one. Fort Sill, Oklahoma! Okay, I need Oh, no! What? Not Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who do you know from Fort Sill? Fort Sill? Yeah! That's where I was when I was 17. Oh, really? That's where I celebrated my 18th birthday. Oh, my gosh. It, and, and it you, gunners it, in. It didn't burn down the place? It what? gunners in. No, I blew it up, though. Oh, my Lord. All right. Guys, this is the color. It's called Wild Salmon, okay? Because, yes, in Newfoundland, we have... Oh, um, kitchen cabinets, I would uh, use Jump Monkey Original. Yes, absolutely. This is the unpredictable paint. You don't know what it's going to do. In this case, we're going to try to control it a little bit more and make it do some more fun oh, stuff. I, I'm sorry. I missed it. What is this? half of the wild salmon and then you just put your half water with it right it's fun to play with guys i'm telling you it is wichita fun to falls play with. texas oh my gosh we're going back let me tell you about wichita falls in oklahoma when i was there i don't know if it's still that way yeah the beer was only two percent alcohol what so you could drink miller light and look like a king that's because funny you drink beer like there that's so funny. we used to go to wichita falls and buy kegs of regular beer <laughs> <laughs> and we'd bring, we'd smuggle it back on Guys, base. Guys, I love hearing all the stories, okay? When we do these lives, I never know what Matt uh, is going to say, so... Um, well, I never know who's going to pop on. Right! Well, apparently it's a blast from the past, so we're going so, back now, right? So we're going back yeah. to Marine Corps days here, people. Yes, yes, yes. So do you see that loveliness, that paint right there? Love it. You can whisk it up. I'm just using a spoon. You ideally want to let it sit oh, for a little bit. Oh, she said Oklahoma is 3.2 now. Oh, Well, back it when I was there, it was 2.3. I think it was the opposite. No, it, was, it couldn't be more than 2%. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. Okay, you guys see right here? This is like silky smooth. Really, really nice, okay? That's the cool thing about milk paint. It buffs Can you really layer shiny. the milk paint? That is what we're getting ready to do. Yep. Chippy heavy juice. All right. Yeah, ready for some yeah, chippy yeah, heavy yeah, juice? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Should I, what do you guys think? Should I go all over chippy or maybe just in parts? I'm trying to think. 
Where just, would you like to just, see some chippiness? All over or in parts? Example. Well, I've got to think for the long run where I want to yeah. put it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the chippy hippie juice on just a rag. Mm. I don't know, use an old t-shirt, anything you got. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add some chippiness. Maybe, let me see. Unfortunately, we do not ship international. However, we will be shipping the uh, milk paint to Canada. Yes. And we're looking into being able to ship... Uh, the regu we're looking to ship paint all over, to yeah. be honest with you. So, guys, I put it more or less around the edges. They said all over. They keep saying all over. You want to go all over? All right. All right. All right. Well, I you don't, don't know have, how this is going to work. Well, you don't you know? have to, like, this you know, scary. twist my arm or anything this like that. This is really scary. You scared? I am. Why are you scared? Because this is new. What? It is new, right? It's unpredictable. What year were you in Fort Sale? Um, I was off and on because I had to go back for schooling. Okay. Uh, just because uh, artillery, of course. Because he failed and he had to go back? No, I'm artillery joking. is a very small community, right? I'm just so, messing with you. Anyways. All right, because I like to mess with him. So I first time that. I was there, 90, 93, 94, All right. and then 97. Guys, look closely, okay, while Matt's talking. Can you see what's happening? Can you show them? Yeah. Chippy Hippie Juice, my friends. I want to introduce you to the brand new Chippy Hippie Juice. All right, do you see what's happening? You see, the more you put on, the more it just pushes and repels and creates this awesome look. So you can just put it in spots. So let's say, for example, you worked on a chair and you wanted it to, um, to have a really cool effect to it, um, maybe just on one corner of it. You just put it on one corner, so there you go. And you put on as much as you want. The more you're gonna put on it, the more it's gonna cause like the separation like we just Is saw, Is this right? like crackle paint? No, no it's definitely no, not a crackle it's paint. It's definitely not a crackle paint, no. Yeah, no, definitely not a crackle paint. Not even similar. But pretty cool, right? Pretty darn cool. So we gotta let that set up. And see, I went all over with it now, right? Now I gotta go all over my piece with it, which I don't know if I'm ready to do that right now. That's a lot of work. All right, there we go. Pretty cool, right? So you can go all over it with it that way, and then we're oh, gonna no, let it dry. You're committed now. You're committed now. I know, I'm committed, and I've got to do it. Can you use the juice with regular paint? Can you use the juice with regular paint? Um, I'm gonna say no because it's made with like the milk paint is made completely different than the chalky style I'm paint. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Oops, sorry. Completely you different. Do you want to come in really close? Okay. Really close. Really, really close. Do you see? Do you see all this right here? This is what's starting to happen, right? This is really, really cool. So I'm going to dry this. If you don't like it, can you stand it every time? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Of course you Absolutely. Can. Oh, she said with your regular paint. Can you? Like, uh, with the juice. With the juice. Uh, can you seal it over? Yeah, once it all sets up, you can totally paint it. Yes, you can. Right, so, anyways, but it dries uh, like that, guys. Uh, uh, so now see. I gotta do some. Sanding. Can you wipe some of it off? Yes, we can do that. Okay. So are you gonna do some chipping effects? So we can... I'm just seeing whatever the paint does. Hot thing on my foot. We're just seeing whatever the paint does, dude. I, I can't control the paint in terms of the milk paint. That's that's the thing about milk paint, right? Like it's on pretty darn good here. Can you go over it the same color? Yeah. Yeah, you can. I need you out of the light. Here, let me get around over here. Let's um. Let me go yeah, over here. Is. Let me go over here. Is Can we this find our girl? Live shipping to Canada. It is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Website up, and we get our tariffs taken care of. It will be up. There you go. Hey, Tony from Kentucky. So it's really cool. Come in close. Can you imagine this? If I could have put my hands on really, really quickly, like red and this sea glass would be gorgeous. This is the wild salmon, so it's like a coral kind of color. But I would love if I would put red on here with this. I think that would give a really, really cool. So think about like even when you paint your piece all over all, but you just want maybe some this sort of special effect around the edging, you can do that, right? You can control that part of it. But the part of the milk paint that you cannot control is the fact that when you put it on a surface, you just don't know, right? Let's see. Can I paint a red table white with this product? Is it full coverage? You know what, I'm gonna tell you. If I'm gonna paint a table, I'm gonna use our Junk Monkey Paint Original, okay? That's the stuff, like I say, it's the monkey with the muscles, all right? This, because milk paint is unpredictable, I don't know, depending on the style of your table, how well it's gonna stick in uh, or pull into the wood pores if you have wood pores, 
or if it's all going to chip and flake, okay? We're going to paint another piece again tomorrow night. And you know what? It may, if I pick a piece that is not as hungry, as thirsty as this piece, it's going to literally fall off in flakes below it on the floor, like, or on the table here. Does this so suffer from bleach? You would never Actually, want this... to, you would never want to do your table with the milk paint, okay? Yeah. I wouldn't advise you to. This actually is where paint missed. That wasn't... That's just the wood showing through. Or it might be a little bit of rust from the actual handle now that I think about No, it. no. That, that, if you look at it, you can see where that's where... See, look at it. Actually, yeah, it is. It's rubbed. Yeah. yeah so there you go. So, anyway. All right. Let me just go ahead and put a little bit on here. They want to know if you can do another layer of... Yeah, you sure the, can. You uh, can keep layering ...of it. the regular paint on here. They want to see the layer and the paint. Sure. Layer the paint, woman. Do you mean like more crack clean and a different no, color? No, I think they want to see like... More of the paint over top. Of it. Sure. All right. Let me. We're gonna have to switch places then. I don't want to. All right. Did we find our girl yet? We gotta make sure. No, we're gonna have to pick somebody else. All right. Should we do another three minutes of sharing? I think uh, we should. Yeah. Do another round of sharing, people. All right. Three minutes. You All got right. three minutes to share and put share. All right. You ready? Sharon's not fond of this. No. It just depends. It's your it's style, right? I what your style is. Yeah. That's cool. No judging. Judging what? I don't know. I just felt like saying that. Oh, you're funny. Well, it's not the same as the other paint, right? Why would we have two paints that are the same? You guys Why get not? what I'm saying, right? Because that would be kind of silly. Why this not? is, you just don't know what it's going to do. It's lighter and it's completely chemical free, right? It's completely healthy and just goodness. So I am loving it. You can put as much as you want. So if I wanted to cover over some of that and just kind of leave some of the crackling in the places, then yeah, I would really put on a full coat of coverage all over it and work my way around it. So that way the only thing showing through might be the parts where I want to have it really just falling off. Make sense? What is the juice? The juice. We already talked about the juice. Yeah, we talked about the juice. juice. So tomorrow night we'll do some more with the juice. Okay, a different project. Can you put we'll a third color on and more chip juice. Heck yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd like to do that. If these guys are down with it. Are they down with it? You think? They're, they're down with it. Really? Yes. Okay. Like all this thing is so li like literally dry. White. I like green with white too. You green with white? Yes. Well, it's not green. It's 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 like the blue and the uh, what's it called? The salmon, right? So let's see if we can find two other colors that really, really. It is very easy to be able that to That just mind boggles to what's going on now. That's how I spend my entire life. I just, she does whatever I just Yeah, you just play with it, right? It's just easy. It's easy to distress. It's easy to work with. You can build up colors. You can go as light as you want and do a wash with it, whatever you want to do. So if you want to keep building like crackle layers, you just continue doing the very same thing. I feel like we're focusing on one side over here and I have no chance to finish it out. Because but it's okay. you're showing them what I know, you're doing. But me, so me I want to like totally paint the Okay, piece. well go over there and I'll show them the side. What are you going to show them? I'm going to show them the side. Show them After side. we kind of... Alright, let me find my chippy hippie juice. Would that was my Pepsi, not the chippy hippie Would like to try a rusty effect. We will be doing that. Yes, first. absolutely. So. Alright, so let's try it a little, bit, a little bit again. I know I'm in the light here, guys. Bear with me. Well, this is the thing about the free gift over the next 20 days. You're not going to know what it is till you get it. Let's do some really heavy up here, okay? Oh, what are you doing now? We're going to we're gonna do a different color on top of this. Started late, don't get it. That's okay, Nadine. Just share it to your page and go back and watch it again. Hey, Brittany Gray is watching. Brittany, how your are you? Your niece. Ya? Oh, my gosh. Let me find another color that will look really, really dark on top of it. Let's see. Tracy wants to have a jump monkey paint party with wine too. I don't care as long as it's wet and alcoholic and I'm invited. Is that what's cute? You. Yes. You're funny. It's true. Oh, I know it's true. You wouldn't have said that if it wasn't true. Alright, let me just do one more thing here, okay? Let me just do one more thing here. They're saying try yellow. Yellow will be good over it. What are you doing? I was gonna do some black. She's doing. She's doing. Black would really show up okay, nice, right? Okay, whatever you want to do. That way, this color really similar, see similar it. to for, Stormy Forest. I've said that. Thank you, Maria. Nobody <laughs> listens to me. I say that. Oh, look, it's Linda. 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 She says I'm late. Yes, you are. What are we gonna do with Linda? Linda. I don't know. We were talking about you earlier and saying, "Where were you, Linda?" So, guys, you saw. So, I husband did... doesn't know about this paint. I'm loving it. <laughs> It, it, Julie, it's my paint. I don't know about this paint. I just I just put it in the bag and away we go. 
That's right. There you go. Chalk or milk paint for a bedroom set. Are you going to be chewing on the furniture? All right. So remember, we put the chippy hippo juice in place. All right. And then I just mixed up some of the black. You guys saw me, right? It went from the powder. I didn't even measure well, it out, guys. It. Yeah, right. Where were you too? I literally just put it in the truck. Talking to Linda, Linda, Linda. All right. See, Linda, you distracted him. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. Pretty cool. So it looks like an old sun-baked effect, okay. you know, yeah. when you leave paint out in the weather for a long time. It's like the old, you know. Does it have an odor? No, no, no odor. Not like a typical milk paint where it has that kind of cheesy odor. <laughs> cheesy? Are we talking the cheesy Cheesy odor. Um, yeah, okay. So if you want to paint cabinets, what kind of paint do you use? Uh, jump like your original one. You're going to want yes, to jump like your definitely. original Yes, definitely. This is a very, very light paint, okay? So you're gonna want something that's a little more hefty. God, you done lost your mind. Who? You. Why? Well, you did the effect over here. Yeah. Now you're going all over here. I what know. are you doing? I'm playing with it, man. I'm playing with it. I'm having fun with it. Right. I don't know, I've got a little blue coming through it. Maybe I'll put a posy on it. You guys think I should put a posy on it? I think that'd be cool, right? We can see what it would look like. I don't know what you're doing, but I, I have no idea what you just did. What part? Well, you need to look at it from my perspective. Are, are you wiping some off? <laughs> nope, I'm leaving it on. I'm going to totally leave it on. So now basically, I've added a different layer. I did it in black, so you guys can hopefully see the difference that you can build layers. So I've got blue, I've got uh, the salmon, and then I've got the black on top of it, right? So for the person who asked, or the people who asked about, you know, can you keep layering? You sure can. You can do as many layers as you want and find a combo that you like. And, but now I'm just adding. So I'm going to completely flip this piece to black is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all over it with black and uh, bring it back together. <laughs> They're telling me give it up. Yeah, put and it. you're having fun. Yeah, going, heck yeah. Yeah, but I, it doesn't help me if I don't know what's going on. Matt needs to stay with the program. All right, what do you think? Uh, and we have... Stay with the program, babe. We have a um, cool. cabinet video available like that. for sale on our site because... That's one of our main businesses, and we teach you all of our secrets. And we've done 70 plus cabinets over the last year and year and a bit. So we take all that knowledge and put it into an hour and a half video. And it's available over at our website. Cindy Same Focus. Everybody Same Focus, won't you? Thank you, Julie. Focus on what? Focus on all this going on. You. Is that what you need to do? All right, we're not done yet. I think I should put a flower on this. Yes, uh, Linda says, the crazy looks like the table at our lake house that's like 50 years old. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. This is paint that was used back in the day, colonial times and even earlier. Like, seriously. This is the stuff they used when they, like, did, you know, even, like, cave drawings yeah, and things like that, right? It goes way, way back. And the uh, milk paint. Pretty cool. All right, so let's leave that at right now. But I want to show you as well. We'll keep working on this side since we're kind of focused on this side right now. I'm just stressing with it. I could put on another layer of black if I want and just kind of like have this more darker over here. Leave this showing through over here. So guys, you can really just pay, play with it, you know, and do whatever the heck you want. But it's easy to distress. I got it. I got it. Uh, Maggie, you can uh, use these little work. It depends if you're... Uh, Furniture, if you don't want to do any kind of sanding or buffing beforehand, um, use the Junk Monkey Original um, if it's really a shiny veneer. Oh, that, there's some sun come off. So it's chipped off. Yeah, it's really easy to pull off, right? right so. um, and do whatever you want with. Now, I've got to bring it back to life in just a bit, and I'll show you how I do it. But I'm just kind of like experiment with it. experimenting, giving you guys some ideas right now. But I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put a posy on this because I've got this like pinky color right here. Yeah, okay. I think I should do it, right? Like maybe a vintage rosette. How pretty would that be if I did that? Let's put a little bit down here. Do you see all that nice? I mean, it goes way into the wood. You can see how thirsty the wood is. Yeah. Let's go ahead and yeah, do that. Yeah, that was a little more than expected. What's that? <laughs> the way it was there. Well, we got a little crazy with the cheese whiz. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to pick one over here. Uh, the there you do. Do your job, man. Uh, okay, uh, 
Barbara McNamara. Yes. Barbara. Let me grab my stuff right over here. Are you doing I'm getting my stuff. What are you doing to me? Getting my stuff. She, she's doing things. Things. So, Barbara Nack, uh, McNamara, uh, answer up. You are, you are the new winner on here. Hopefully you're still here. <laughs> so just give me an um here and I will give you directions to claim your mystery gear. Oh, there she is. Perfect. Okay, Barbara, what you want to do is send us an email with your contact information to junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Yep, and you got to do it by midnight tonight, okay? Because yeah, this please. is going out tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to try to Because we're going to have a lot of tomorrow. giveaways, and I just yeah. want to... We're going to okay, be on top of the giveaways. we got crackling over there. This is where the handle's going to go. What do you think? Should I do some... Po where would you put some posies to? Uh, what do you well, think? Well, I need a light. What do you think? What do you think? Give me a second here. Is this is an old magazine right Boom. So how about we put one like down here? Maybe uh, put two right okay, there. Okay. okay. I gotta kinda eyeball it up, right? Yeah. You wanna so, go to the other side because Well, I'm guess, not right handed person. I, there okay. you go. Yeah, that better? So we give them like Okay. So tell them what you're doing. I'm gonna put a posy on here, okay? Okay, so, so what are you doing? This is a, a spontaneous since we're painting spontaneously tonight and just having fun with it. Um because we like literally like just totally blew out and just did everything, right? We have fun. But um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to do posies, okay? I'm going to put my, let's put one down here. I'm going to put one here, okay? So this is the background. I'm going to go with a vintage flare. We got blue, we got coral, we got black going on right now. And I'll show you how I bring it together. But bear with me. I'm going to put two right there for right now. Maybe I'll put one down here too. Just because I can. You can use smaller. quality acrylic if you want. We have a new... Sticking with our all natural eye, we have a new sealer that we'll show you here in a second. Yep, I'll show you. Um, can you paint the handles? Absolutely, yeah. you can paint the handles. Yeah. So one of my favorite things that I like to do with handles is literally just take you know some paint and go over them Oop, as one. is. <laughs> What's that? I almost went flat on my face. Did you? Yes, I did. Thank goodness it didn't happen. Holy moly. That would have been a different view. Yeah, that would but not yeah. have been good. Yeah, I can add a little bit of brown. Since I'm adding some brown here, I'm going to add some brown on my handle. But I'm going to create a posy, and the darkness yeah. will probably start to show through. But I'm going to go with like more of an older look, so that's why I'm going to go yeah. with a dark Ann background. Ann Harper, this is exactly why we made One this second. paint, is because we've been getting a lot of these requests for people that, that uh, want to make sure it's safe for their loved ones and their pets. All right. So, so she left me standing here. Yeah. So how's everybody been? <laughs> I had to go get some okay, stuff. Okay, so this is the middle of the flower. Let me get this right. This is the middle of your flower. Yes, it is. All right. Flower. I'm going to okay. add a little bit. I've got some fun colors here. Now, of course, I would never paint furniture in cheap acrylic paint from um, Walmart, but I will definitely jazz up some fun junk monkey painted pro um, projects with it, right? You guys know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? She's cheating. So, well, I'm not going to go back. Cheating. And get my red junk monkey paint and all that good stuff. So I got this here. Cat dance and sing, Matt, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Did really I get like X Fest that. tickets? What is that? X Fest. X Fest. Okay. What could that be? X Fest. That's probably something we talked about before. We don't know. But that's because my memory is so bad I can't remember. All right. Who knows? It could be some crazy people on here. All right. Let's go ahead now. Tess. And put a little <laughs> bit of. Oh, I don't know. Then. All right. Put a little bit of darkness in the center, See, like a Tess, little bit of red. She called you crazy. Well, when you start asking me questions like that, I'm like, what the heck? Oh, is Jack that? White, the X Fest. No, um, actually. Now you're making sense. Yeah, actually, no, I'm not gonna have time. I'm still trying to get tickets to go to Slayer. <laughs> so I'm grabbing my brush, just a small brush, right? I'm gonna do a little bit of red, a little bit of pink, and a little bit of white together. And now I'm gonna get ready to make some really cool posies on here. Okay. All right. Tell them what you're doing. I'm making posies. I just told them what I was doing. Hello, Connie, I'm gonna and welcome. Pink it, I'm going to pink timer. it out a little bit more. First hey, timer. how are you? Thanks for being here. Carol Wilson is new here as well. You guys, what do you think? Put some little posies on it. Well, tell them how you did. Isn't that cute? Well, we were talking. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance. So we've got our dark base. We've got our darker center. Of course, roses, um, you think of posies, they're definitely a lot more closed in the center. So you're going to have, you know, that look right here and then bigger, bigger strokes around the outside. But I'm taking my brush and literally just creating this awesome sense of a flower, right? And then what happens is because you have the three colors on your brush at one time, 
it gives you some really cool, it makes it like just, you know, the petals look different, right? There we go. Hey, Karen Mackie, what's up? No, unfortunately, Tess, I don't get to, I want to go out, but I don't get, she doesn't let me go out. Oh, okay. Good to know. Do the brushes <laughs> clean well? Are they special brushes? Uh, the brushes, that everything one. we use is water-based. We actually have a really cool thing that's called, if you want to show them over there, the brush cleaners. Yeah, we got it's a thing go on our page. to yeah. make your brushes go a little bit further and just wash them out with soap and water. Yep. It's called Big Fat Lye, old-fashioned lye soap. It conditions so. and it cleans. Oh, no. Karen had foot surgery. Well, hopefully you're... Feeling better. Yeah. Let me walk back around here. Okay. We're bringing it together. We're going to make this a really cool, shabby, chic, feminine um, magazine rack, okay? Well, you got guys' husbands on here. You better, you know. All right, there we go. I just want to make sure it's dry. Okay. I think the other thing I'm going to do with this is just, again, take a little bit that's on my brush, some of the reds and the pinks and the whites, just to kind of give it some edging. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? It's starting to come a little bit together. Sometimes in the beginning you start and you're like, what the heck? Our store is the Junk Monkey Paint Company and we are located in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Yep. About 40 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. There you go. In the, in the beautiful Laurel Highlands where the world comes to play. There you so, go. Or you can find us online at Junk Monkey Paint. What do you guys think? Is it starting to come together now? We're just focused on one side of a magazine rack. So it's not the most interesting thing to look at right now, okay? Especially probably from your view. Um, we're going to be doing some things like actual full-on bigger pieces of furniture as well. But tonight we really just took the time to play with it. So we added some posies. We've got three colors of the milk paint going on here right now. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to seal it as well, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let me just make sure it's completely dry here for a second. So, yeah. Connie is from Florida. Well, Connie, if you join us for the next 19 nights like we did the... Uh, 30 days, we uh, give away, um, we give our friends gifts. Yep. Oh, you had a, uh, an alarm on. Oh, I did? What time is it now? It's 7.40. Oh, it's probably from this morning. So, um, My alarm didn't go off this morning, that's why. I think I maybe I had the PM. Okay. There you go, you solved the mystery. Solve the mystery. What do you guys think? Give me hearts, give me yay, give me an A. What do you think? Actually, don't give me an A. Just give me love, okay? Just give me give me love, all right? I'm in the mood for love. So go ahead. Let me know what you think. Right now, it's kind of going to look really, really... Pink um, particle board. Absolutely. Really, really muted. I'm going to show you how I seal and how I bring it together. If you guys could feel this... This is so soft, right? So a bonus of the milk paint is that it goes silky smooth. Really, really nice. That's really, just like my really bum bum. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Seriously, if you're saying that sort of stuff on the first night, like literally the first date, what are you going to be doing by day 19 or 20? I'm losing my mind. Moly. Well, you know, I have to say, I wasn't sure what was going on. Yeah. But it's definitely it's definitely coming together. It's coming now. together, right? Yeah. I gotta work on the rest of it now, right? Okay. We literally went three colors on here and had fun, put some posies on it, brought some edging around. Right. You can kinda start to see I'm it. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Alright. Why do you ever doubt me? Alright, so here we go. We are gonna use our brand new product called Monkey Shine. Okay, so talk about a shiny honey. This is gonna make this piece look really, really cool, but it's gonna be protected and nourished. And we know this wood is already hungry anyhow, because we put the milk paint on it. And you know what? It's sucked in like I, like to nobody's business, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our all natural wax. You can seal with polys or with waxes. I am a big proponent of polys. Um, definitely, especially if you are going to be sealing like surfaces that are that get more use, right? This is a pretty magazine rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with a wax. But I wasn't always big on waxes because um, I'd use waxes before for that literally made me feel funky in the head, okay? More to the degree than what I even feel right now, all right? So there's like solvents in it, right? Meaning that there's chemicals in it just can make you feel really weird. Ours is all natural, okay? So I love, love that. Now watch Ruby, what happens. Ruby, we ship Jump Monkey all over this great nation of ours. So if you want it, head over to jumpmonkeypaintcompany.com yeah. and hit shop now. Have fun with it. So I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do, okay? So I'm using this brush because what happens is I'm pushing the wax into the wood pores. And God knows we know this thing is hungry. I kind of like it here. You know that part we were talking about at the beginning? Yeah. Smell it up and you can see it's just worn off there um, from where the, the, just the way the wood is right there. But I love that. I love that. <laughs> Mary Brown, man, if you're behind the camera, how do you get paint all over you? How many toes did you just lose? Sorry. 
how do you get paint all over yourself? <laughs> With, oh, uh, don't don't start. They, That's a they, very they... sore subject. <laughs> That's a very very sore subject. All right. So, anyways, yep. so um, Connie, just be present in watching, and we ask you during the broadcast to share uh, our live. And then we go and we just uh, find one of our random friends and give them a mystery gift. There you go. So anyways, we have 10% on the phone, so like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So, so we on. have put our wax on. You don't leave it like that, okay? Can you okay? use the wax on Jump Monkey paint? Yes. Yes, you can. You can seal our chalky style paint or this one. So it's nice because, like we say, it is completely natural. There's no chemicals, all right? No chemicals in the paint, no chemicals in the sealer. So it's a beautiful. We have doggies that like to chew on things like this, okay? If you have babies or even you want to paint something in your kitchen, okay? It's actually kitchen friendly as well, which is, uh, yes. which is so important, all natural. right? natural, yes. So we put it on. Now, you just don't leave it like that. That is the key. You get yourself a buff rag. And this is not a rag like any normal rag, I promise. This is actually a branded type, um, a branded type, what we should say, cloth, buffing cloth. It's called, actually it's trademarked called Better Than Cheese Cloth. And what happens is, once you've buffed your um, wax into the wood pours, then you come with it behind it with this, and it's gonna take off any excess wax that might be sitting on top to, to get rid of that weird feel, right? Yeah. It takes off any of the, the, like the paint dust or anything like that. And remember, it's all natural. You can keep washing it and using your rag over and over. Just never put it in with your clothes or anything like that. You never want to put wax in with your clothes. <laughs> got to say that, right? There's even warnings in the back of the shampoo bottle. We all know. Um, but anyway, I got to say that. And then it comes to a beautiful sheen, all right? Are so now no I'm going to put my... colors the same as Jump Monkey? No, nope, they're, they're, they're different. different. They're different just because of the nature of the milk paint. There's some that are similar, but uh, they're pretty much all new colors. Uh, they're all new colors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're similar though. Uh, sea glass is kind of like Stormy Force. If you know it, yeah. Yeah, if you know it. So but they're actually anyways. made completely different. Yeah. So, anyways, but uh, yeah. So. so, there we go. We put a little bit of brown on here. Remember, there's brown in the centers of the posies that kind of pulls together. And when you're done with that, there's also, you know, any wax left on here. You can just buff out that a little bit as well mm. to give it some sheen. You guys, what do you think, right? Uh, yeah, just Love real quick to, it. before you, it. before our long time watchers ask, and yes. I've seen it at the beginning, we still love our polyacrylic for heavy duty things. Heck yeah. We do, absolutely. Um, just to point out that I am not personally a wax fan, and we've went far and low to find ingredients that make uh, yep. Monkey Shine wax uh, very easy to work with. It doesn't take a lot of working to... Nope, it's all natural. It goes right into it. It doesn't, it's not sticky. It's not um, made with chemicals that will make you feel weird or, you know, like, I'm, I keep saying that because that's a real thing. I'm serious. I, I paint it, um, I paint it and I used a wax one time. It made me feel like beside myself. She got high. Yeah, right? Like, I don't know, man, what was in that stuff, but it scared me. I, you know, anybody else, seriously, I take like, Advil and Tylenol, and that's, that's like the, the, you know, the heaviest hitting stuff I get into. Yeah. So I don't like feeling weird and foggy in my brain. So this is all natural. Yeah, awesome. so here's what's really cool. What? Uh, Lisa asks, how long does it, does it take the wax to cure? Unlike the waxes that we were talking about, your standard waxes, this only takes what? I just live it overnight. Overnight. I mean, honestly, right now, to the touch, it feels like it's, it doesn't feel waxy. It just feels normal, what I would call like normal furniture. But I would tell people just let it go overnight because what happens behind the scenes is everything pulls into your wood, right? And this is really hungry, thirsty wood. So it's pulling it in right now. So just let it do its job. Maria, no, we're still using our poly. We yes. still like our poly. Yeah, for tabletops. Or Actually, anything you can that's use poly on use. this. Too. If you wanted to, you totally yeah, you can. can. Yeah. The other cool thing about when you use wax, though, that I like is that I hear from, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been painting furniture for eight years, so I can control the poly really well. But if you're somebody out there that you've struggled with brush marks with your poly and you're like, hey, Sonia, I just can't seem to get brush marks and I'm like I tell you guys you know don't put too much on don't activate your paint underneath it because it's all water-based you put too much on it can actually start to bubble or you know even yellow if you go too extreme with it the nice thing is or you get brush marks right um, with wax it buffs in it pulls into the piece and there are no such thing as brush marks no you don't want to use wax in your kitchen cabinets no, <laughs> that's an know. example yeah. of when I say you're gonna use you're gonna want to use a sealer that has a hardener in it so if you're yeah. somebody who wants to do that 
I would encourage you highly to go to junkmarketpaint.com and get the video that's in my DIY videos over there. It's on painting your kitchen cabinets. I have spent the last two years painting kitchen cabinets and I've done a brain dump of everything that I've learned. And so let me just tell you, it costs $35, but let me just be honest with you, it's well worth it because if you don't do it, your cabinets the right way or you mess up, then it's going to be way be more sad. than $35. You'll so yeah, sad, do it the right please. way and have be confident and know what you're so. actually doing. It's uh, an hour they're and asking long about video. the brush. Um, we have the brushes yeah. available. Yep. They're a renaissance. What is that? American? Well, they're actually, if you go, yeah, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, yeah. you'll see them there. Actually, let me see. You go shop at the top and then look, there's a little uh, section that's called like, shop brushes, tools, accessories, and um, what's really nice is this one is an inch and a half, so it's a perfect size. It's not like a ginormous thing where you can't like get it into places. Like I'm gonna continue, even though we turn off the camera, I'm gonna continue working on this, and I've gotta get this brush down inside and everywhere around, right? So it's the perfect so, size. So here's what's cool, right? Yeah. Somebody's asking how many you can ship in your, uh, for your flat Good rate. question. Yeah, guess what? You ready for it? Yes, go. You can ship, you Give can order as many as you like, okay? We have so, a new shipping system. Yes, check out our website, junkmonkeypaint.com. Okay, gone are the days of doing flat rate shipping. We have now been able to set our website up so that, you know what, your, your system is going to tell you the cheapest way for it to get to you no matter where you are. And um, there are no limits as to, you know, what you can fit into a box or a lot of a lot of you guys will message and say, you know, I can't figure out why I can't check out. Do you ship to me? Yes, we ship all over this country. And you know what? Flat rate shipping behind the scenes, you know, without going into it, it's still there. And if that is the cheapest way for it to get to you and depending on what you get, then it will come up and tell you it's the cheapest way. But now there's some other options as well. It's basically any other option. you want. Uh, Fabian, you do not want to wax a kitchen table. No, I would definitely, that's a... You can wax sealer. the legs, yeah, not the top. To. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, there you go. Yeah. Alrighty, my friends. So for those of you who didn't catch it at the beginning, just to let you know, since we've caught up, behind the scenes, we also have started a, um, just a hangout place, right? It's called a creative coaching community. And so if there's anybody out there that loves or loves the idea of doing this for a living and needs some help, I've been painting for eight years, um, built a junk monkey paint company literally from our garage. So if you're somebody who needs some help with that, then uh, by all means go to our website. You'll see the link over there. It, it'll be right there staring at you. And if you're somebody that just says, Sonia boy, I would really love just some advanced um, tutorials from you and kind of like get more information on a specific look. On our website as well, you'll see a bunch of tutorials over there that every week I'm posting. So you might see something already that intrigues you. And so you can go ahead and pick up a class over there. And I think they're only like $12. So that's a pretty darn cheap um, paint lesson that you can uh, watch from your couch in your pajamas. Or not. Or and that's where I'm going is I'm going to bed <laughs> in my pajamas. Let's do it. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to pop off of here tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. Having fun. We totally like went all out on one side of this magazine rack. We're, tomorrow we have a whole other new project. We're going to continue with the milk paint and uh, let's put it to use in all different kinds of furniture and see what it does. Sound good? Jumpmonkeypaintcompany.com. Jumpmonkeypaint.com. Jumpmonkeypaint.com. Or just go to the shop. You set up the website. Come I know. On. <laughs> or just go to the shop now button on our Facebook page, or follow the uh, link there. We'll yes. take you to it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's great seeing everybody again. Yes. All right. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Yeah, right? we'll see you tomorrow. Sign up for notifications so you don't miss our live because yes. we're going to be at different times, right? Six thirty. Yeah. We're going to try not to be like midnight like we used to be. Yes, absolutely. Because I can't stay awake that late anymore. Anyway. That's heart can't take it. I can't. <laughs> So anyway, uh, when we're done here, just go to our page, click the blue button at the top, and do hashtag the pound sign, hashtag live, and then you're automatically subscribed to any time we go live. Okay? Sound good? All right. All right. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Right. Get Bye. out of here. <laughs>